Hi guys, a rubber band powered car time again. Got somebody who wants me to make a rubber band powered car from toothpicks or cocktail sticks as they're labelled here, CDs and a DVD case. Well, the main problem with cocktail sticks is they're not very long and they're not particularly strong. But I've just measured up here. I've got a couple of CDs here with the bottle tops on them already from a previous project. In fact, that one's actually got a pulley on the inside, but we won't be using that. But they're just wide enough to get the CD case in that way round. So if we have it upright like that, it should work. So I'll melt some holes through for the axles to go through. I'll actually have the rubber band going from bottom corner to top corner just to give us the longest length of rubber band that we can fit in there, which won't be very long. I'll probably get two rubber bands in there, I should think. And then we'll see how far it goes. That one needs the bottle top hot gluing back in place. If you don't know how to do this, I've got a help file that shows you how to make wheels out of CDs and bottle tops, so I'll put a link in the video description. And I won't waste time doing that in this video. We'll need access to the axle to be able to rub wrap the rubber band around it. So I'll actually cut across here and then across there to get rid of the edge of the seat, uh, DVD case so we'll be able to wrap the rubber band round. If I wasn't using toothpicks I'd actually put barbecue skewers through this way instead but because we need much narrower space for the toothpicks, we're doing it vertically. Might as well cut that bit out as well. That's our holes for the axles and a hole for another toothpick to go through to hook the rubber band around. Let's see how that looks. It's going to be a bit of a tight fit just to get my fingers in there to wrap the rubber band around it. Time to stick it together. I'm not quite sure what the best way of connecting the rubber band is. Might need to use a piece of wire to get hold of it when it's inside so we can pull it out and wrap it round the axle. That's a handy little bit of wire. I've got two rubber bands I've joined together already. So, put a toothpick through the top corner, hook my rubber band over it, so it's in there. As I say, to get it round the back axle, I'll have to reach inside and hook it out. Okay. 
Right, so I'll pop some hot glue on the ends just to stop them sliding out again and we'll give it a test run. actually put a hook on the axle so I can get the rubber band over it easily. So we'll wind it up a bit. Hope that it doesn't rub against the side too much and reduce the distance. And see how we do. from going to the left a bit. We nearly did the five meters. I'll give it another try, see if we can go a bit straighter. It's a bit fiddly having to get hold of the rubber band like that. Yeah, five meters of the kitchen easily. Summary time. What have we got? We got four CDs with bottle caps for the hubs. We've got a DVD case, just a plastic case. We've got a rubber band that goes from the top corner, that's another um, toothpick there, top corner down to the axle where it wraps around the axle at the back there. Uh, the axles are toothpicks front and back and that's it, that's all that's in it. I'll just say that again, four CDs, eight bottle tops, one, two, three toothpicks, two rubber bands and one DVD case. And we just did the five meters length of my kitchen.